You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. I've got a comings and goings update for you. We've got legacy offspring Emma in town. We've got info on how long she's around, plus an update on Gloria Cirillo's time and how long she's going to be around, a legacy comeback, some exits, a murderous exit, lots of stuff to talk about for the ABC soap opera. If you haven't already, reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. So first, just real quick, we're going to talk about a murderer and murderous exit really quick. First, of course, we have Mason Gatlin. People suspect he might be the one that shot his cousin, Austin Gatlin Halt. But for me, it doesn't seem likely because he's off to Pentonville for a decade or so unless Cyrus decides to get him out early. And since Cyrus cannot trust Mason and he knows it, I doubt that he either is doing anything to get him out early or arrange some kind of prisoner escape, prison, you know, transfer thing. So I just, I don't think it's Mason. We also, of course, course, you know, definitely Austin Gatlin Holt is gone. Two bullets in the chest tends to be fatal. And with his violent ending, his exit left us with a murder mystery. Cyrus, I feel like, is definitely the top suspect. Ava Jerome is questioned next week. But some people suspect there is another comings and going shocker coming and that somebody off screen might have made a return to do this little bit of murder in Port Charles. I've seen a couple of people here suggest in the comments that they think it might be Nicholas Cassidyne back who shot Austin for tormenting Ava. I will say I I love the idea of Nicholas coming back. I do. But I respectfully and strongly disagree with the notion that Nicholas killed Austin for two big reasons. First and foremost, Nicholas literally owes Austin his life. Ava thought she killed him. And if if he didn't get medical attention, she would have killed him. The Dark Prince absolutely would have died after she shoved him in that closet in Windermere with a brain injury. Because remember, he was in a coma for a while. She nearly killed him. So he owes him his life. And then the second reason I don't think Nicholas would kill Austin is because I don't think he would care that the guy was being mean to Ava or lying to her or manipulating her. I mean, consider how cruel Nicholas was to Ava right before she clocked him with that big sculpture. He was threatening Avery. And at that point, Nick hated her more than he loved her. So I just don't think he would kill a man who saved his life after Ava tried to end it. It just, it doesn't make sense to me for any reason it's not a good motive. Sonny generally doesn't do his own dirty work and I really really hope it wasn't Dex. I mean he's killed in the line of duty and he's beat up people for Sonny but we haven't seen him. He got in a shootout where he killed some people but that was self-defense. I just don't see him going into this regular non-mob person just this citizen's house even though he was a shady dude. I don't see him going in there and murdering him. Some other people I've seen in the comments and on social media speculating maybe it was the this WSB bad guy, Jameson Forsyth, that killed him before he was run over by that car in a very suspicious manner. But answer me this, riddle me this. Why would some dude from the World Security Bureau of Spies go after this Pawtuck hillbilly doctor? It doesn't make sense. Not to say that the GH writers always make sense. A lot of times it's hard to follow their sideways logic. So it just, it doesn't make sense. So I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough who offed the doc. Either way, he is gone, gone, gone. And if you're wondering if Roger Howarth will be back as someone else, perhaps his one life to live alter ego Todd Manning. As of now, it does not seem so. I liked him as an actor. I liked him as Todd. I really liked him as Franco. I didn't give two shakes about Austin. He wasn't compelling. He didn't have good chemistry with anybody. So eh, I'm okay with him being gone. So the actor confirmed that he was told by General Hospital showrunner Frank Valentini that his contract was not being renewed when it ended in October. So that means means no contract as any character, at least not now. So Roger said he is looking for acting work and he's open to appearing on another soap opera if he got the chance. I've seen some funny comments from people that watch Y&R, B&B days, and they're like, we don't really want him either. But he's a great actor. I do love him. But the, the comments were kind of funny because, you know, soap people have their good sense of humor on social media. All right, now let's talk about legacies. First, there's, of course, this ongoing question, where is Leslie Charlson? as Monica Quartermain. Monica has been name dropped very recently, but her the status
status of the actress is that she's recurring. There hasn't been anything said about her permanently quitting, making permanent retirement, but she has had some personal medical issues. So they have said that Monica is off at some medical conference, maybe in Berlin, something somewhere far away from Port Charles. So I had stumbled upon something recently where showrunner Frank Valentini was talking about he had this special little thing planned for Leslie Charlson that gave this hint that Monica might be back for a minute. And then I went looking for it today when I was making my notes for this video and can't find it anywhere. I don't know if I, if it's been taken down or if I just am having brain gas, you know, I don't know. So I'm going to keep looking for it. I'll update you when and if I find it. But the actress has had some health issues, but we need Monica back at least to give us some closure instead of them name dropping her, you know, like they're doing Bobby, although Leslie is still alive. So we've also got Jane Elliott out as Tracy Quartermain, but not for too long. She's in Amsterdam helping Bobby Spencer sort through Luke Spencer's things, getting his estate settled after he died in a cable car accident set up by Victor Cassidyme. Tracy will be back and I do suspect she's going to bring Bobby's body home with her and say that she died in Amsterdam. You know, like a stroke, a heart attack, an aneurysm, something instant because they don't have any more Jackie Zeman scenes to air other than flashback scenes, you know, for a tribute. They've got decades of scenes for that. So, of course, you guys remember Jacqueline Zeman died very suddenly after a very short battle with cancer. That was back in May 2023. She passed away at age 70. They've yet to properly acknowledge it on General Hospital. They haven't done an exit for her character, a big tribute to the actress for her decades on the show. And, you know, fans aren't happy about it. As I've said before, I do suspect that the showrunner said the replacement writers could not write it during, during the strike. That's what I think. And we are still seeing material written by the replacement writers. If you watch the end of the credits, as soon as we see a writer's name pop up, then we'll know that we're back to the core writer material. As long as there is no writer credit, it's replacement writer material. So I'm I'm thinking February sweeps. You know, they tend to save things for sweeps if it's feasible. And since General Hospital has left this hanging for so very long now, I mean, we're talking like seven months at this point, I suspect they are fully capable of letting it linger un, unaddressed for a couple of more months until we hit sweeps. So also in the Quartermain Mansion right now, is Gloria Cirillo, played by Ellen Travolta. And of course, that is Lois's mom, BLQ's grandma. And it turns out she's in trouble with the Russian mob and handsome Yuri is going to help her sort it out because he's Russian. Just a side note, why couldn't they just bring Gloria back for Turkey Day, pack her back to Bensonhurst, Brooklyn after the holiday without adding in this unneeded, unwanted subplot? Why? What's next? Are they going to pick a background actor sitting in Charlie's pub and just write them a subplot? plot. I mean, maybe the writers could focus their attention on one of the 97 existing plots that needs closure. Like, I don't know, let's see, Metricourt shooting, Anna's arson, Nina's SEC call, Sasha getting her money back, Cody telling Mac he's his biological son, Finn having two plots, his dad's ALS, now this malpractice suit out of nowhere. Why does he get two plots? We got Christina involved in the surrogacy and her new romance with Blaze, two plots also. And I mean, honestly, Sonny's in more plots than I can count. The cast of General Hospital is like one of those big, sweeping Cecil B. DeMille movies my grandma used to watch in black and white. They had literally a cast of thousands. There are too many people and they each have a plot. Some of them have two. I personally think a maximum of six plots at a time would be great. Then they can show us three plots one day, three plots the other day, alternate them. That's plenty, right? Let me know in the comments, what do you think? What are the maximum number of plots they should have going on General Hospital at once? So keeping track of this all, you need one of those big whiteboards with red strings when, like, when they track serial killers. I mean, ugh. all right, back to comings and goings. So Tracy's back eventually, but not yet. I'll let you know when I have her return date. Now let's talk about somebody else they brought in. We don't need another warm body in Port Charles, but this one made me smile. I'm very happy and it's not lasting long. Brooklyn Ray Silzer is back as Emma Drake, daughter of Patrick Drake and Robin Scorpio. And I hope she's not in trouble with the Russian mob. Huh? Let's hope. I think she's just in and out. I love you, Grandma. Her grandpa, Robert Scorpio, flew her into Port Chuck to surprise spy granny Anna, who's been down in the dumps after being targeted by her ex-boyfriend's wicked daughter and by some unnamed person or persons we don't know in one of these myriad plots. So we saw Emma on Thursday in that rare unicorn thing, a general 
hospital holiday episode. Are they going to give us one on Christmas? Because this is like Christmas. They never, ever give us holiday episodes. It's been forever. So Emma's back on Monday. I suspect she'll head back to California pretty soon. Brooklyn Ray Silzer said she taped for two days. So that's two to five episodes at the most. In real life, she's busy with college. She's applying for nursing school. She's not going to stick around. Very interesting. She said working on General Hospital inspired her to pursue a career in medicine. Isn't that cool? So that's all the General Hospital casting news we have right now. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Come back soon. Drop your comments below. I love reading them. I love hearing from you guys. And be sure to come back because we're here talking GH seven days a week. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 